Hello, and welcome to episode 5 of the series covering my development of a Python video game engine. Um, when we left off last time, I thought that I would have uh, some cool new buttons to show off in this video, but uh, I kind of changed plans a bit. I decided that uh, before we have any more uh, objects in the engine with which the user can interact, we need to have one of the basic constructs that the user has to interact, and that is the mouse. Uh, in all the previous videos, I was using uh, the system cursor, the Windows mouse cursor, that the engine itself had no cursor of its own. It was just reading in the position uh, of the system cursor and, you know, interacting accordingly, accordingly with, uh, you know, whatever's inside the window. But tonight, I've actually implemented a cursor uh, for the game. Uh, right now, I'm just using a uh, very basic cursor image, nothing fancy. Uh, hopefully I'll have a new image uh, soon, but I just wanted to show off uh, some of the stuff it can do. Uh, and Here we go. So you can see my cursor here, I'm moving it around. Um, the advantage, one advantage of uh, the built-in cursor over the system cursor is that I can uh, limit it to the uh, border of the window. You see here uh, as I move it along the left hand side it will not uh, move outside that border. <clears throat> Same thing happens at the top it will not move past the top and uh, the little individual pixel at the top of the mouse that actually does the uh, clicking, the hot spot I guess is what uh, people call it the hot spot of the mouse is the single pixel where the actual clicking takes place and the hot spot always has to be uh, in the window and so when I move it down here it's hard to, well, it's impossible to see this in the video that you're watching, but I can see it clearly. Uh, the hot spot, the top pixel of the ma uh, mouse, is still visible as I move it across the bottom. And uh, as I move it across the right, uh, the entire, uh, the entire uh, left-hand side of the mouse uh, is visible, the uh, left-most uh, column of pixels. Uh, so that's pretty cool. And then uh, this built-in mouse also can interact uh, with the stuff inside uh, just like the system mouse could. Uh, the uh, <clears throat> excuse me, the uh, windows still cannot be dragged uh, from the inside. You have to drag them from the bar. So uh, nothing much has changed about the uh, the way that the mouse works. It's just changing uh, the mouse that I'm using. So uh, it's not a perfect system. Uh, there's still some uh, kinks in it, uh, especially uh, involving um, mouse screen uh, or mouse window border issues. Sometimes when I move the uh, window along the side, uh, you'll see that the uh, position likes to freak out. I don't know, it's hard to reproduce. <laughs> I've been trying to nail it down. There we go. I'm not exactly sure what causes that. I've looked over the code quite a bit and even though I'm pretty new to the Python thing, I'm almost willing to chalk it up to a problem with Piglet. So I'll have some other people uh, review the code, see if uh, I've done something stupid that I'm not noticing, uh, but we'll see how that goes. Um, next time, for sure, I will have buttons. If I have to make the most simple buttons possible uh, in terms of images myself, there will be buttons by golly in the next video and those buttons will minimize, maximize, uh, restore and close the window uh, windows so that's what you have to look forward to next time um, I'll make it a promise next time I make a video you will have buttons so uh, that's all I've got for now just thought you guys would like a little update uh, oh yeah, I totally forgot to uh, tell you guys about the background. Uh, you see this lovely uh, pink background image here. Um, <laughs> I almost forgot to talk about that. You see there are two logos there. Uh, the top one is Piglet, and the bottom is Chipmunk uh, Game Dynamics. Uh, if you've watched all the videos, you know what Piglet is. Uh, it's the graphics framework that sets up the window and captures the mouse events. Um, I use it... Um, you know, extensively. I still write all my rendering code. All the mouse events for dragging and stuff are, are still uh, processed by me, but the uh, events that start that, um, 
you know, I, I don't know off the top of my head, you know, when the mouse is being moved. Piglet tells me when it's being moved, and then I use that uh, to start, you know, a chain, rea a chain reaction and to run my code that processes the events, you know, appropriately. Um, Chipmunk is a game dynamics API, and basically what that boils down to is it's a physics engine for 2D games, and uh, you can check that out. Just search for uh, Chipmunk Game Dynamics, and it'll take you to their uh, site or show you a link for their site. Um, they've got several sample uh, sample videos there showing uh, what's possible with Chipmunk and a couple of user projects using Chipmunk. Um, in this case, it's not entirely accurate because I'll actually be using PyMunk, which uh, is a Python project to provide chipmunk bindings to the Python programming language. Um, I don't have a neato logo for PyMunk though, so the chipmunk logo got put as part of the background image. So, yeah, getting back to that, I made an image control. Uh, it can render, you know, all sorts of images, PNGs, bitmaps, JPEGs, uh, GIFs, whatever you like. Um, and it stretches that image to fill the size of uh, the GUI control itself. So on this one, I've set uh, the GUI control to be the full size of the window, and that's why it looks as, uh, as though it's a background image. Um, uh, one other thing that I've implemented before I forget, I've added a draggable property to every GUI control. Uh, it's, it defaults to false. Uh, the GUI window control, uh, this thing up here, sets it to true when it gets created and that's what allows me uh, that's what allows me to actually process the dragging uh, dragging code on that if draggable is set to false as it is you know when I I'm actually clicking this image in the background um, when I click this image nothing uh, nothing happens because uh, you know it's not draggable so all right uh, pretty sure that's it um, if it isn't it'll have to wait till the next time I think we've gone long enough for episode 5. So next time, buttons, don't miss out. Be there, be square, that kind of stuff. Uh, catch you guys later. Bye.